say before Championship 2009 because you miss a lot of things. He... So, so. So, so. Well, I'm a DJ, that's my element, and I was doing clubs for, for years, sound systems before that, oh, it's in West London, that's where I, you know, North West London, you know, because we had a club running already at the Africa Centre for about, I don't know, seven years, and we had a lot of b-boys come down, and Africa Islamists to come down with Melly Mel and Africa Bambara. We used to have a lot of breakers coming down, so we said, okay, we should do a, an event around them. At first it was going to be in the club, but I got a lot of phone calls from kind of like, all these b-boys from all across England who said, well, you know, we haven't had anything to go to in about 10 years. Is this really going to happen? So right then I thought, well, OK, we have to do it on a bigger scale, take it really seriously. I went to New York, I tracked the Wiggles down first and eventually got to Legs, put the proposition to him, said I want to do these proper championships over here, and he was down, so... We have like uh, eight qualifiers around the world, but they represent because we have European qualifiers as well. We have South American next year, but we have Asian qualifiers, so we can probably cover about 20 countries. So, in terms of the world scene, it's grown. I would say there's probably more people involved in it now than there ever was. Top nine US and yeah, the, Korea. The US have got a really good crew, Skill Methods crew is sick. Russia are the defending champions, they're going for two wins in a row. At Korea, they're probably the, the leading nation of the champs, they've won it four times, America's won it twice, UK has won it twice. So these crews are doing stuff that all the rest of the crews are looking at and saying, wow, one day we want to get there and do, do as good as them, you know? Believe, believe in yourself. In yourself. And after everything it's can come, it's easy now. I believe now, I'm doing it. Wait, 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 come with me. Good? We're going to practice. Oh, we're going to practice. Korea. Ginger. Korea. 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 bad for us, I don't think. You know, they looked a bit aggressive at the end, I think because they, they felt that they were under threat, and uh, they stepped up on their routines quite a lot, which they don't normally do, so it feels like we put pressure on them, so it's a good result for us. Uh, they... There's no recipe, there's no secret, it's just a lot of hard work, and if you want to achieve somewhere, training is the best way to do it. Hard work and arguments and fights and hating and crying, and yeah, that's, that's what If you don't train till you're sick, <laughs> you're not training hard enough. Learn the history, learn the dance. Going to my lead, to the What's up? Junior Boogaloo, UK B Boy Championships. It's here last year, I'm here again. Judges, good vibes, B Boy battle, locking battle, popping battle. It's off the hook. So I've been popping for like 26 years now. In the B-Boy, I can say I like uh, Russia, top nine. b right. Magazine, what's up? In your Bobby Lou here, London, UK B-Boy Battle Championships. Peace. and I can do it all. <laughs> See that? Watch the feet. They're on fire. Watch the feet. That's it. That's all you're getting for now.